I'm Brian Lilly, and I've got some good news for parents in Ontario. You'll soon be able to find out what your kids are going to learn in sex ed. It's been a long time coming. The last time there was a, an attempt to reform the sex ed curriculum was back in 2010, a curriculum so radical that when parents protested and Premier, then Liberal Premier, Dalton McGuinty read it, he pulled it. He said, no, we got to start again. Well, it's been under review since then, although completely out of the public eye. But the Premier told the legislature this week, it's coming. Well, the, the curriculum will be posted on the Ministry of Education website for all to see. Yeah. Uh, within weeks, later this winter, it will be posted, Mr. Speaker, and it will be rolled out in classrooms in yeah, September 2015, right Mr. Speaker. Here's the big problem, though. Wynne says it'll be posted online and then in classrooms in September. She promised she would consult with parents. So did Dalton McGinty when he pulled the last one. And that consultation hasn't really happened. Sure, there have been the expert groups, the people that were consulted on the one that McGinty pulled. They've been talked to. Uh, there's the activist groups that Wynne has been promising a return of the old one that got pulled. She's been talking to them, but not much in the way of talking to actual parents, regular parents, despite that promise. And Ontario PC MPP, um, Monty McNaughton, he's been pushing win on this in the legislature. Over the past three months, I've heard from thousands of parents from across Ontario who have told me that no such consultation took place and, Premier, that the period for consultation is now over. Premier, why did you suggest to this House that you expected the chairs of each school council to consult with parents on the sex ed curriculum when this was, by the order of your Minister of Education, never going to happen. The fact is, they are going to get information somewhere, Mr. Speaker. Answer. We want to make sure they get the right information and that they get information that is based on Mr. Speaker. Now, you like that bait and switch by Wynn at the end? He asks about consulting parents on something that was controversial the last time. And, and she says, well, we've got to teach kids something about sex or they're, they're going to learn it somewhere, like on the schoolyard. Maybe they'll learn that if you kiss in a bikini, you get pregnant. I saw that on Happy Days once. Someone believed that anyway. I'm losing my cool. But that's a load of garbage. They already learn the basics of sex ed in the school system. Wynne says it's outdated because it was last updated in the 90s. Has sex changed since then? Did, did I miss the memo? Is it done a completely different way now? Are babies made in a, in a new and fascinating fashion that I haven't heard about? Hope not. All my babies were born after the 90s. Seemed to work. Anyway, uh, here's the thing. This isn't about do we teach kids about sex? Do we, do we give them the information they need to know about the birds and bees or teach them nothing? That's not what this is about at all. This is about, do parents have a say? This is about, is the material that the experts say needs to be taught, is it age appropriate? Let me give you one example. Uh, the idea of gender identity and gender fluidity. A lot of adults will be sitting there watching this and saying, I have no idea what he's talking about. Well, gender identity is, are you a boy or a girl? And it's not depending on your anatomy. Now, they wanna teach kids in grade three that your anatomy means nothing, and it's all how you feel on the inside. And the fluidity part is that your gender can change, and not just once, it's, it's fluid, like water. It can run one way one day, another way another. Yeah. Is that really something that's appropriate to be teaching kids that are eight and nine years old? As a father of four, including two 10-year-olds, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that that's a completely inappropriate thing to be teaching kids at that age. I think it's just going to confuse them. Um, grade six, they want to start teaching masturbation. Grade seven, they want to teach about anal sex. I have problems with this and I'm not alone. There's concern over how they're going to be teaching the concept of consent because the premier said this will be in the curriculum from beginning to end. Well, I hope you're teaching kids to say, don't touch me, you pervert. Uh, I really hope that's in there because for most of what we're talking about, that's the only only reasonable answer that kids should be taught. Don't touch me, you pervert. This is not about do we teach kids something or do we teach kids nothing. This is about a radical form of sex education pushed by certain experts and the Premier. The Premier used to be Education Minister. 
She was the education minister when the last one that McGinty pulled, the last curriculum, she was the minister in charge when that was designed. Her deputy minister at the time was a guy named Benjamin Levin. If you don't know the name, Benjamin Levin is, what? Well, he's just pled guilty to charges involving child pornography. He was charged with making and distributing child pornography. He was the top bureaucrat in the education department. Um, let's say that that should be setting off alarm bells. But not to Kathleen Wynne. She says there's no problem. Uh, he didn't have anything to do with it, despite being the top bureaucrat, and parents just need to trust her. Well, I'm sorry, I don't trust her. I don't trust a woman who won't talk to parents about something as simple as this. Uh, this should have been an issue in the last election. The Ontario PCs didn't want to talk about it. Uh, the NDP, they're on board with the agenda. So, what's left? Well, parents can try and push, and there's a couple of groups. PAVE, Parents as First Educators is one. Peace out of Hamilton, they're another. And they're running workshops, trying to teach people how to fight back. Unfortunately, the fighting should have taken place last June at the ballot box. The PCs were cowards, the Liberals got another majority, and now we're going to be stuck with something that could damage children for years to come.